Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss that may change our perception of history. We will be examining an ancient carving found in the Angkor Wat temple that has sparked a lot of curiosity and questions among researchers and historians. This particular carving features a figure riding an elephant, but what's peculiar about this elephant is that it has four tusks, two on the left side and two on the right side. Now, this discovery raises a lot of eyebrows as it is known that according to the official history, four tusked elephants have been extinct for approximately two million years. However, geologists and experts have dated the Angkor Wat temple to be only 900 years old. The question then arises, how could the sculptors living 900 years ago carve an animal that vanished two million years ago? Could it be possible that the dating of Angkor Wat temple is incorrect? Or is it possible that these four tusked elephants survived much later than we previously thought? Could there be any other explanation for this carving, such as a misinterpretation of the figure or artistic freedom taken by the sculptor? Is it possible that the sculptors of Angkor Wat had access to knowledge or artifacts from much earlier times that allowed them to accurately depict the four tusked elephant? Could this carving be a symbolic representation, rather than a literal depiction of an animal that had long been extinct? Are there any other ancient artifacts or depictions that suggest the existence of four tusked elephants in more recent times? Could this discovery lead to a reassessment of our understanding of the evolution and extinction of elephants? Or, millions of years theory, is a simple big lie. These questions leave the experts scratching their heads and running if anyone comes up with them. Perhaps we may never know the truth behind this ancient carving, but it certainly opens up a realm of possibilities and challenges our understanding of history. What do you think? Anyway, what other mysteries might be hiding in plain sight in ancient artifacts that we have yet to discover or fully understand? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. The Hoax of Ancient Egypt there are lots of things which can disprove the antiquity of so-called ancient Egypt, such as all of the fake concrete structures and pillars built in the early 20th century with rebar sticking out, the fake Abu symbol statues, which were already conveniently pre-cut when they had to be relocated in the 60s, all of the excavation photos from the 30s, showing palm trees poking out of ancient sands, which will all require their own posts in due time. But I digress, as that is not the topic of today. What I want to bring your attention to are four of the 37 horoscopes found in Dendera, Esna, and other temples, which are claimed by historians to be over 2,000 years old. However, as we investigate this does not seem to be the case. The great thing about astronomical data is that it cannot be fabricated to where it and documents or structures can be. For a long time, the dates of these horoscopes were unable to be dated, until Anatoly Fomenko applied his mathematical methods to the horoscopes, and was able to unlock key astronomical data to be able to date them. The following images are taken from Chapter 17 of History, Fiction or Science, by Anatoly Fomenko. The four images you see here are four horoscopes, found in temples in Dendera and Esna, as well as their corresponding verification tables, compliance matrices, to prove the deciphered solutions of the horoscopes. 
What is shocking is that the astronomical data of these horoscopes can be calculated to the dates of 22nd to 26th of April 1168, 20th of March 1185, 31st of March to 3rd of April 1394, and 6th to 8th of May 1404, with an average accuracy of three days. These are just four horoscopes among many others which have been deciphered, with the oldest one being from the 18th century. This is not the only astronomical inconsistency ignored by historians, as many people recorded zodiacs as well as various events such as eclipses and comets. By using these and some mathematics, we can unlock the true timeline of history. What do you think? What if I told you that there was a completely legal and natural substance that can actually promote the growth and development of brain cells? It may sound too good to be true, but the lion's mane mushroom has been scientifically proven to contain unique compounds called neutrophic factors that can stimulate the growth and proliferation of neurons in the brain. While it may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, lion's mane mushroom has been used for centuries in traditional Chinese medicine to improve cognitive function, memory, and overall brain health. The mushroom has also been shown to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, making it a potent ally in the fight against neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. But what sets lion's mane apart from other natural supplements is the fact that its nootrophic factors are found nowhere else in nature. These compounds have the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier easily, and unlike other supplements that degrade quickly, lion's mane is a sustainable and effective source of these vital nutrients. Scientists are just beginning to scratch the surface of the potential of lion's mane mushroom. Some researchers are even exploring the possibility of using the mushroom as a natural treatment for brain injuries and other conditions that affect cognitive function. Its potential benefits are truly remarkable, but as usual, you won't find this in the world of mainstream medicine and health. Imagine being able to promote the growth and development of new brain cells simply by incorporating a natural and sustainable supplement into your daily routine. So, the next time you're looking for a way to boost your brain power and improve your overall cognitive function, consider turning to the remarkable lion's mane mushroom, a true holy grail in the world of natural supplements. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.